beautiful boys and girls it's another beautiful sunday morning it is good to be here again how are you doing today hope you had a great week hope you had an amazing week trouble free week stress free week and you feel happy and excited and mm, you feel like jumping it's okay just jump 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 it's all right to jump so i want us to do something very quickly you know we've been talking about worship and worship and worship and worship but today before we go into our praise and worship before we even pray before we do anything i want us to scream a very loud screaming it's okay it's allowed i am asking you to do that so it's permitted right now okay so go ahead and just scream so i'm going to say praise the lord and you're going to scream and hi hallelujah okay so praise the lord aha let's try that one more time praise the lord hallelujah yes yeah 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 it's always i mean i don't know there is this joy this overwhelming joy that just you know that just that just i just i just feel whenever i am here on a sunday morning so yeah are we ready to pray <laughs> after screaming praise the lord and hallelujah we should be ready to pray all right then so let's close our eyes for prayers dear heavenly father we thank you for today thank you for an awesome time again in your presence father we always just love to come to your presence because in your presence there is fullness of joy and we are enjoying that joy everlasting father glory be to your holy name in the name of jesus just as we have come to your feet again together to learn father we ask that you teach us something father drop your word in our spirit drop your words in our hearts so that we learn something that will help us throughout the week and forever in the name of jesus father we ask that every word dropped here today would come from you you and not man in the name of Jesus. Let your word be seeds that are planted in our hearts so that it will grow and germinate good fruits in the name of Jesus. When Jesus name we are afraid. Amen. 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 So yeah, um, you know, it's our culture that after our prayers would have to go for praise and worship. So yes, now we'd have to run for praise and worship. And by the time we come back, we'll get into today's topic fully and um hopefully would enjoy today's topic too because it's another interesting interesting topic so yeah let's quickly go for praise and worship and by the time we come back we'll have fun together you know how we do it right all right then let's go hey how are you doing today guess what say what now Say words. I am super duper excited to be a child of God. How about you? Say, I'm happy to be a child of God. Say it now. Good. Now put your hands together for Jesus. Come on. This song we're about to do, you know it. Or if you don't know it, you, 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 you can learn it as we sing it. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, come on. Put your hands up. Come on, like this. With a smile on your face. Come on, come on. Woo. Hey. You say, one thing we ask of you. Yeah, one thing that we desire. You know it right? That as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. One thing, one thing we ask of you. Sing it, say. One more time. One thing. Move your body. Come on.
one thing, say. You're doing it well. Come on, say. Lord, come and change. Say He's the creator of everything. He loves you. Yes, Jesus. But the Bible, the Bible tells me. One more time, say, yes, Jesus loves me. Again. 
back hope that was an amazing time you had fun right i know i mean worship is always a beautiful experience you know that so whenever it's time for praise and worship like that we always just have fun we just laugh we dance and we do all that is that not why we should always worship god i mean because it just gives us some sort of peace it gives us some sort of happiness so have you tried something before Whenever you're angry, if you have not tried it, I think you should try it. Whenever you're angry, someone makes you angry, someone gets you really, really angry and you're seriously mad, let me tell you what you do. Even though you, to you, that's not the best time for you to want to worship God or anything like that. But try to worship. Just worship God. Just sing a beautiful song to Him. Just, just, just say anything. You'll be surprised how relieving you would be. So the anger will just disappear without you even understanding how it disappears. That's the beautiful thing about music. You know, I told you last week that um, I told you the upper week that music is quite snooding. And um, whenever you listen to music, it has a way of, you know, calming your nerves, calming your soul, calming your spirit and all that. Right. So today, our topic for today is titled Obedience is worship obedience is worship hmm. last week we talked about sacrifice is worship and this week we are talking about obedience is worship what does it mean to be obedient yes that's correct when you obey what you're asked to do or when you obey god or when you obey when when, when you actually do something and yes you go ahead and do it that's obedient that's showing obedience right yes that's being obedient so obedience is worship today we're going to look at a story of a popular person in the bible i want to give us a clue so someone can tell me a popular person in the bible he had lots of children because God blessed him with a lot of children. And um, let me give you one other clue that makes it simple. The person that God told to take his only son to go and sacrifice. Who is that person? Abraham. That's correct. Yes, that's Abraham. So today we're going to look at the story of Abraham. And that would show us how obedience can be also said to be worship. Um, of course, we all know that um, Abraham was a very obedient man. Abraham obeyed God. I mean, Abraham was just someone that whenever God asked him to do anything, hmm, he wouldn't argue with him. He wouldn't even ask questions like, ah, God, why, why, why would you be telling me to this, this kind of thing? Oh, no, no, God, why would you even say this? Oh, God, why haven't you do that? Oh, God, why? You know, he doesn't complain at all. When God just asks him to do something, he's so obedient that he doesn't question God. He's one person that truly obeys God and he had so much, he had so much trust in God. So that's the person we're going to be talking about today. But don't forget that our topic for today is titled obedience is worship so let's go to our bible verse for today which is taken from the book of genesis chapter 22 
verse 1 to 18. Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 18. Remember, we're talking about Abraham today. We're talking about the story of Abraham today. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Then he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac. Who does that? If not God. All right, let me continue reading. Whom you love and go to the land of Morah, Morai, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his, key, his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son. And he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place which God has told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, the lad and I, will go yonder and worship did you hear that the lad and i will go yonder and worship and we will come back to you so abraham took the wood of the bond sacrifice and laid it on isaac his son and took the fire in his hand and a knife and the two of them went together but isaac spoke to abraham his father and said my father and he said, Yeah, I am my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but there is no lamp for the burnt sacrifice. The boy was already scared. I, <laughs> I am sure the boy was already scared. Like, okay, so what's going on? Daddy, you wanted us to go and, you know, have a sacrifice. Now I can see a wood. I can see the fire for the burnt offering. But there is no lamp. So what lamp are we supposed to use? And listen to the father's reply. So the two of them went together. Then they came to the place of which God has told him. And Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. And he burned Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, Yeah, I am. And he said, Do not lay your hands on the lad or do anything to him. For now, I know you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son from, he, from me. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in, its, in a ticket by its own. So... Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a bond sacrifice instead of a son. And Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide, as it is said so this day, in the mount of the Lord is, it shall be provided. So, I mean, did you get that at all? God just told Abraham, Hey, Mr. Man, wake up. Take your son and go offer me a sacrifice remember last week we talked about sacrifice is worship now look at what abraham did abraham was really willing to sacrifice his only son just to worship god right he was willing to sacrifice his only son just to worship god and another beautiful thing about abraham is the fact that the guy is just very obedient like he's is obedient to the core he didn't question god i mean if it were some people they would have asked okay so um you want me to go and sacrifice my only son but god do you know i don't have another one why would i sacrifice the only one that i have why can't i sacrifice a lamb but no Abraham did not argue with God. He trusted God. He knew that God would do something. He knew that God would have sent him. Ah, oh God. He knew that God would have sent him would provide. So yeah, he took his son and he went ahead. 
So obedience is also worship. When you obey God, you are, it's also an act of worshiping God. There are a lot of times God asks us to do certain things that we do not do. We question him. We argue with him. Sometimes we struggle with it. But no, that wasn't what Abraham did. Abraham did not even struggle with it. From what we just read, he obeyed. So obedience is also sacrifice. Obeying what God wants you to do. Obeying God is one way you can also show sacrifice. It's also one way you can show that you love him. And it's another way to show that you can, I mean, you, you, you worship him. God is saying, do not bear first witness against your neighbor. Obey it. Once you obey it, you're worshiping God. Do not steal. Do not tell lies. No fighting. Obey your parents. All of these things that God has asked you not to do, if you obey them, it is an act of worship. That's to show that you love God. Because you love God, you don't want to do what He doesn't want you to do. God is saying to you today, oh no, no shop right. Oh no, 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 no. My dear daughter, today you will not be going to shop right. And what would you do instead? Would you say, oh no, God. I, I already bought the dress I want to wear to shop right. Oh, I have already planned what I am supposed to wear to shop right. Oh, why now? Mm -mm. When you obey God and say, oh yes, it's okay. You do not want me to go. I'm not going. Then you have obeyed God. It is the art of worship. So I implore you this week as you go out as you stay at home wherever you find yourself i know a lot of you would have vacated from school so you'll be at home some of you would have gone for holidays probably to your cousins or you know wherever you are i want you to remember that obedience is worship obey god don't just say, oh, it's only God I would obey. No, you would obey your parents also. Because it is written in the Bible that children should obey their parents. Is it only your parents you would obey? Oh, no, you also have to obey your teachers. You have to obey your aunties, your uncles. Obey people who are older than you. When they ask you to do what is right and you know that it is right, what should you do? do it that's obedience do not argue with them do not you know do not do not try to fight with them just go ahead and do it just obey it is the art of worship because god wants you to do that and whenever you do what god wants you to do you are worshiping god Whenever you do what God wants you to do, you're worshiping God. That's to say you're obeying him and obedience is also an art of worship. Hmm. Obedience is an art of worship, really. Because, I mean, when you obey God, when you worship God, do you know what comes with worshiping God? God blesses you. God blesses you when you worship him. So, I am sure that you have learned today that obedience is also an art of worship. So, obey, obey, and obey again. Our keyword for today is worship and obedience. Worship and obedience. Obedience is the art of worship. Obedience is the art of worship. In fact, our key word for today is obedience and worship. And obedience is the art of worship. When you obey God, you are worshipping God. Alright? When you obey God, you are worshipping God. 
All right, so then let's take our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today is taken from the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 8. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 and it says, Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 NIV version. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 NIV. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 and it says, Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Who are you supposed to worship? The Lord your God. And do what? And serve him only. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. All right. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. I am very sure that you have learned something from what we have learned today. I mean, today, if you have not, if you're not taking anything home at all, I want you to remember that obedience is an art of worship. So wherever you go this week, wherever you find yourself, always just put it in your mind, put it at the back of your mind, put it in your head, wear it as a crown wherever you go, that obedience is an art of worship. Thank you so much. I enjoyed a wonderful time with you guys. Our theme for this month again is worship. And we, we really had a great time talking about worship. I mean, from the first one, we talked about worship. We talked about music is worship. We talked about sacrifice is worship. And then now um, the last one we have talked about obedience is worship. I want you to always think about those things. I mean, wherever you find yourself, think about them thoroughly and live the life of christ wherever you go have an amazing new week bye bye